Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new to my channel, hello, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing for lots more diamond painting content. And if you are back, welcome back. Today I'm here with a sneak peek from Diamond Art Club and one of their new releases this weekend. Thank you Diamond Art Club for sending this over. This kit along with the other new releases are going to be coming out tomorrow, which is Saturday, May 6th at 9.30 a.m. Pacific Time, 12.30 p.m. Eastern. Now, if you are in the Ruby or Diamond Tier of the Rewards program, you'll get a half an hour early access window beginning at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern. And just FYI, you may notice there are fewer sneak peeks up than usual. You'll be seeing some of these kits get unboxed as first looks, little belated sneak peeks. My video is going up a bit late today because Diamond Art Club is transitioning to a new warehouse located in Texas. And with transitions come the occasional delay. So <laughs> please, please be patient, but be sure to follow along with the playlist that my friend Sophie from the Diamond Help Desk uh, keeps up to date. I'll link to it in the description of this video. That's the best way to stay up to date with once videos of these kits do go up. What I have to share with you guys today, I'm really, really excited about because it's one of it's from one of my favorite artists. This is Darkwood Fay by Chrisabug, and this is actually one of the kits that Diamond Art Club is testing out, releasing in both drill shapes. I chose to get this one in round. I don't have both drill shapes to share with you guys this week. Um, but if you take a look on Diamond Art Club's previews on their socials of their kits, you'll see that from time to time we're seeing a couple, I think there's a couple kits this week that are being released in both drill shapes because like I said, Diamond Art Club's testing out if they want to roll out releasing more kits, <laughs> most kits, all kits, eventually in both drill shapes. And it's just going to depend on what the response is like and how, how sales do and stuff like that. I'll actually have a comparison video coming out really soon. I completed the first kit they tested this out with, um, and I, I completed both, the round and the square drill, so that we can go through that together. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> But let's get into the sneak peek. So we have all this pink branding, which is what Diamond Art Club uses with their round drill kits. There's info on the back about how to diamond paint your kit contents. And then a QR code you can scan um, that will give you 10% off your purchase. Now, if you're brand new to Diamond Art Club and looking, making your very first purchase, you're welcome to use a discount code that I have available. Uh, for 20% off. It's just my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. It is an affiliate code, so please don't feel obligated to use it because I may make a small commission if you do. All I say is to find a discount code, you'll see several just in this video, and take advantage of it. Um, at this point, I say Diamond Art Club doesn't really even want you to pay full price for your, your order from them. So we've got our kit. Where's the little sticker? There it is. And our toolkit. Let me give you a quick quick look at what we've got included in your toolkit. It's gonna have everything you need to do your diamond painting, along with some extra bonus goodies. Now, Diamond Art Club's round drill kits actually don't come with a pair of tweezers, so you'll notice that we don't have those in this kit, which is, which is fine. Those just come with their square drill kits, but you're gonna get a pen and a squishy. The color will vary. You're also gonna get some thin plastic multi-placers if you wanna try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time. You're also going to get some wax and a little heart caddy here. Be sure you peel off the thin plastic cover before you try to load up your pen. Of course, you're gonna get a tray and this bit in the end is actually, this is a tray stopper you can pop in and out. And then we've got a bag of baggies if you wanna kit up or store leftover diamonds in. And then we've got a roll of washi tape. The print on this will vary. I like to use it around the border of my canvas, uh, the drill field rather, to cover up any glue that goes past the edge of the drill field. It prevents dirt or dust from getting in there, and I also use washi tape to section off my canvas. I have a whole video dedicated to how I use washi tape with my diamond paintings and demoing it, so feel free to take a look at that if you like. I've also got a cover minder. There's actually magnets on the back. You can slide one off, put it under the area of the canvas you're working on, set the canvas down, peel back the plastic cover, and set this part on top of that peel back plastic cover, and it'll hold it back for there for you, look really pretty and cute, and yeah, just a nice little handy inclusion. So that is your whole toolkit. Diamond Art Club also includes this smaller sticker. I like that it has the original artwork and has the name and the artist's name and some stats. Um, I like to put this in my paper logbook once I start working on a kit. Uh, some people use it on the side of the box to help organize their stash, or I'm sure you could find something else creative to do with it. <laughs> Everything else is going to be included here in this plastic bag or dust cover. Now, much about this kit 
is going to be absolutely identical to the version that comes with square diamonds, just so you know, including the super, super soft backing on the canvas. I swear every time it feels like Diamond Art Club has made it even softer. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I am such a sucker. One, for Krista Bugs artwork and two, for Krista Bugs fantasy artwork. This is so gorgeous. She is ethereal and beautiful. Oh, I'm in love. I am absolutely in love. Okay, so you can look at the canvas. By the way, if your canvas is wanting to curl up at the edges like this, Diamond Art Club's canvases are self-flattening. They will lay flat on their own if you give it a little bit of time. If you're impatient like me, you can roll it back the opposite direction. Diamond Art Club's canvases are a nice quality material. They use poured glue. It's totally safe to roll it back just like that. Diamond Art Club includes a pamphlet here with a thank you note from the founder on the front. There's some helpful info in here, including what's included in your kit. A beginner video. I also have a beginner video that I'll link below. There's a link to the VIP Facebook group, which is a really handy resource to join once you've made your first purchase. Some step-by-step -step instructions written out for you, some tips and tricks, and yet another discount code, and a couple of QR codes that'll take you to the mobile app if you wanna download that. Diamond Art Club also includes this larger sticker sheet. It has the name of the original artwork, the artist's name, a spot trait, your start and end date, and a gorgeous look at the original artwork. Isn't that so, 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 so beautiful? This one, like I said, is gonna have round shaped diamonds. The size is 20 by 25 inches or 50.7 by 63.9 centimeters. Keep in mind, if you do get the version of this kit that has square drills, because square drills are smaller than round drills, the size is actually going to be a bit smaller. You can check out Diamond Art Club's preview post on their socials and that will tell you exactly what the size will be on each drill shape kit. Over here we have a set of pre-cut stickers. The color code system you see comes from the DMC brand of floss. So it's the DMC color code system. Looks like we're gonna have a total of 42 colors in this kit including one AB diamond. So anything under the number 150 in Diamond Art Club's numbering system is a special kind of diamond called an AB. I'll show you those and tell you all about it when we're looking at the diamonds here in just a bit. But in the meantime, let's go on a little tour of this canvas. So up here at the top, we have their branding, Do What Makes You Sparkle, Diamond Art Club. The edges of the canvas are scalloped and finished. You're not gonna have to worry about any fraying. Like I said, the backing is really, really soft. The material of the canvas, um, it's it's like a Tar Holland blend and is really sturdy, but also really flexible. Um, and they use poured glue under this clear, clear plastic cover that is quite sticky and it it's really, really nice to work with, honestly. Uh, they have a legend or schematic up here at the top left, as well as over at the bottom right. At the bottom left, you'll have the info about the piece, including copyright Krissa Bug. This is super important because this means that Krissa Bug has both given permission for the use of her original artwork and is being compensated for it as well. All of Diamond Art Club's diamond paintings are legally licensed from the artist. And uh, that's really important for me to mention every time, personally, just because I know art theft is really common in the crafting world. And so I'm always gonna shout out companies that are doing right by artists. Here we have links to their socials. Be sure to stay stay following them there to stay up to date with new releases and sales and whatnot. And then of course, here's info about their lifetime warranty. As long as you are the original owner and purchaser of your kit, you're covered under that lifetime warranty. That includes if you happen to run out of a drill color or have any issues with the canvas or the glue, contact the customer support and they will get you taken care of. Now, taking a look at the canvas here up close, uh, just a quick note. You'll notice that the way that Diamond Art Club does the symbols on their round drill kits, there's a very, very, very faint circle there. Diamond Art Club changed up the, the symbols on their round drill kits a little bit ago to get rid of the stark white background that would sometimes show if you didn't place the diamonds exactly perfectly. So the drill field now looks just a little bit more like a square drill field does, and I actually, I really like it that way. Look at this beautiful face. So this is actually a really good example of what we call confetti. Confetti is when we have lots of color changes in a small area like this, and so you'll be changing out that color in your multi-placer more often, and single placing most likely. Those areas tend to take a little bit longer to complete, but the payoff is you get a lot more detail. So my apologies if you hear my little one in the background. <laughs> we also have areas that have some nice color blocking over here. Color blocking is when you have 
Um, lots of the same color in a small area. You'll be able to use your multi-placer and have that color in your tray for longer. Uh, so those areas tend to go a little bit more quickly. I like to have a nice mix of both in my kits because confetti keeps it interesting, but color blocking keeps it moving. Uh, let's take a look at these drill colors, you guys. So we have our bag of diamonds. There's a sticker on the front that has the title of the artwork in case you store these separate from the canvas. Outside of the box they came in. Here's this color spread. Lots of dark colors, but also some pretty, like, there's some pretty light colors in there as well. Let's take a look. So right off the bat, we do have one, two, three, four bags of 310, which is a black color. You can see right off the bat, do you see the sparkle in these diamonds? Diamond Art Club's round drills are very, very, very faceted. They're very, very sparkly. They have kind of a twinkly effect almost. By the way, we've got one, two, three, four bags of 939. And Diamond Art Club manufactures all their diamonds in house. They are resin and they are really, really nice quality to work with. And like I said, by the way, if you happen to run out of a color on a project you're working on, you can contact their customer support and they will send you replacements. So we had lots of those darker colors. Then we have sections, uh, little bags that are much smaller bags of colors. Diamond Art Club puts their diamonds roughly in order of weight. It's not always exact, but roughly in order of weight. Lots of earth tones in this one, but you guys, I do see right here we have our AB. I think we just have this one AB in this kit, 129. This is a pale yellow AB diamond. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. These are named after the Northern Lights and have a really super sparkly effect. The iridescent coating on the top makes them sparkle and glitter even more than regular diamonds do. The areas he's been charted will dry your eye to them and it'll pick up some of the colors of the diamonds around it and make them sparkle more too. I really feel like in a kit like this where it's primarily darker colors, a light color like this is really gonna stand out in a beautiful way. I'll be sure to point out to you after we're done looking at the diamonds, I'll point out to you where you're going to find this AB in this kit. Just little bits of the rest of these colors. Oh, pretty purple, uh, some pretty like oranges and browns, and a little bit of white, <laughs> and then we get to the end. So let's take a look. That AB, I don't think it's gonna be like a whole lot of places, and it's gonna stand out really easily because it's such a light color. So we have a sparkle of it right here, which is really gonna stand out against that dark background for sure. And then it's up here, it's the glow in the phase antlers. And like, it's almost like, yeah, her or, her or his hair or what's going on in his head is almost like a tree trunk. It almost looks like bark. There's a line of these pale yellow ABs. It's all the pale yellow you're seeing is an AB. That's gonna be so beautiful. And I actually really enjoy that it is a subtle effect. I think that that's gonna be really, really, really pretty. I love that a lot. That looks so pretty. So definitely not a special drill heavy piece, but I think the artwork really is going to stand out and like stand on its own in a really gorgeous way. So um, you guys, this is the absolutely beautiful Dark Wood Fae by Krista Bug. I adore her artwork and I think it translates so beautifully from Diamond Art Club. And I'm thrilled that this is one of two pieces from her that is releasing this week. Um, the other I believe is Virgo, one of her Zodiac series, which I feel like I also need to get my hands on. I just, I need all the Chrissa Bug, all the Chrissa Bug. Uh, but just as a quick reminder, this is releasing tomorrow, which is Saturday, May 6th, 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 12.30 p.m. Eastern. Don't forget if you're in the Diamond or Ruby tier of the rewards program, you do get that early access window and my little one is is emphasizing this along with us i'm gonna go ahead and leave this part in even though i tend to try to film after my kiddos are asleep or when they're at school today it just didn't quite work out that way so you get just a little bit of commentary from from my little one but anyway guys thank you so much for watching i really hope this helped you decide if this is going to be on your shopping list for the weekend let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or what your thoughts are, are you going to get are you going to get this one or the other krista bug piece this weekend um i have to say this one looks stunning and if you choose to get this one are you going to get it in rounds or squares um i don't know if, if one of my fellow sneak peekers are going to have this one 
one in squares to show you. I don't think so, but it's possible that one of the creators that's like a non-English speaker might might have it because we have like um, a gal that does does sneak peeks in French and like in German and in Spanish. So who knows? Maybe stay t stay tuned. Like I said, follow along with the playlist that I'll have linked below that my friend Sophie from the Diamond Help Desk keeps up to date. Thank you, Sophie, for doing those every week. Thanks to Diamond Art Club for setting us over. And thank you guys again for watching. Feel free to hit the subscribe button if you want to stay up to date with all my diamond painting content. And uh, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up on the way out, I would super appreciate that as well. All right, my friends, have an absolutely amazing weekend and I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.